acne is a really challenging condition to treat because you're dealing with inflammation, bacteria, and then also you want to treat the blemishes at the same time without aggravating the inflammation. One of my favorite products to use for acne is Purity from 302 Professional Skin Care. It is a, an, an antibacterial gel and basically you can use it as a dry wash for the skin. It's like Purell for the face. So if you're working out, um, if you're going to be sweating, what can happen is your pores open and then the, the bacteria goes in and that can really sabotage your clearing your skin. So what I like to do is use this before I work out or do yoga or go run or anything like that. And then also it's a great way to wash your face when you are you know, out on the road and you don't have access to water. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to get some of the gel here and you're just going to rub it into your skin. And then I'm going to get a tissue and just wipe it off. So this is what I would do before going to work out um, or sweat and know what I'm, I'm going to be getting bacteria on my skin. Vitamin A is an essential ingredient in skincare because it fixes so many things. It's excellent to control blemishes, blackheads, any kind of breakouts. It's also great for dark spots that typically get left over after acne or with pregnancy with hormonal imbalance from excessive exposure to the sun, any kind of inflammation. Also with wrinkles and sagging skin and other anti-aging issues. So vitamin A is an excellent ingredient, however it has a lot of issues with it. It tends to cause irritation in the skin, it can cause dryness, little red bumps, redness, itching, it can also, it, it also does make you more photosensitive, so you can't wear it and go out in the sun. You have to put it on at night and wash it off in the morning. It's also contraindicated during pregnancy and breastfeeding. So there's a lot of issues, but it's worth the trouble for all the wonderful things that it does. One of the little tricks that I use to get the maximum benefit from vitamin A while minimizing the side effects is I use it as a mask. And this is something I learned from 302 Professional Skin Care. And I love their A Boost. It is a, it's retinyl palmitate, which is a much more gentle form of vitamin A. So already it's gonna be more gentle on the skin. And then if you use it as a mask, what you're doing is the skin is gonna absorb what it can use right away within the first few minutes and then you're going to wash off the excess unused vitamin A, so you're really going to cut down on inflammation. Used this way, I would recommend using vitamin A for most acneic conditions three times a week, three nights a week. So all I'm going to do, I already washed my face. Um, you can use Purity to wash your skin as I, I showed before, um, or you can just you know wash your face with your regular cleanser if you have makeup on. And I'm going to do one pump and I'm just going to put this all over my face, around my eye area, neck, and then usually my decollete, and I do my hands as well. And I'm going to leave this on for 10 minutes to really absorb into the skin. So I've left a boost on my face for 10 minutes or so. Now I'm going to wash it off. I'm going to use Sensitive Cleanser from 302 Professional Skin Care. This has zinc oxide in it, which is really calming to the skin. It's antibacterial excellent for any kind of irritated skin or just normal skin as well. So inflammation, acne, rosacea, any of those types of conditions, it's really great. The way that you use this cleanser is a little bit different. It doesn't have all of those harsh in irritating ingredients in it. It doesn't have sulfonates or betaines or the harsh preservatives in them. So that means it's also not going to have the sudsing action. It's more of like a lotion cleanser but it is going to get down in there and work really strongly. So don't um, think that you need to have sudsing. We get addicted to those bubbles, but they actually just cause irritation. So I'm going to use a little bit of the cleanser and I'm going to apply it dry on my skin. This is going to bond to the oils and if there is any dirt or bacteria in my skin as well. And I'm just going to leave that on for a second, letting it really mix with the dirt or, or oils on my skin. And then I'm going to wet my hands, and I'm going to put a little bit more with some water. Working again, 
And then I'm going to rinse my face until there is no more slip on my skin. So I really want to keep working until there's no more slip on my skin. And then I'm just going to dry it off. And then usually in an acneic condition or an oily skin condition, all you need is just a light hydration. If you have drier skin, you want to put on your moisturizer at this point. But I'm going to use Calming Mist, which is kind of like a toner, but it's also going to calm down the skin and it's going to be antibacterial. So I'm just going to mist this on my skin. It's going to help me spread the other products as well. So it has a few different functions. And then I'm going to use a product called Remedy. This is an, a zinc oxide ointment, really healing for the skin. Any kind of irritation, burn, blemish on the skin, this is amazing for it. And it also has a little bit of hydration. So if you have oily skin, this might be all you need. So I'm just going to use a tiny, tiny little bit. So we're talking about pea size amount. And I'm just going to spread this on my skin. And I'm done. To recap what we just did, I started off using the Purity RX from 302 Professional Skin Care to remove bacteria, kind of like a dry wash on the skin. And then I used A Boost, which is a vitamin A product left it on as a mask for 10 minutes, then I washed it off with Sensitive Cleanser, and then I used Calming Mist, followed by Remedy RX, to gently hydrate the skin, kill bacteria, calm inflammation.